aisle of one of those explosions, he and his wife took shelter and described to me what was going through their heads as those missiles flew over their country. We heard the booms. Um, I am very close to one of the explosions that, that did hit. Um, and so it was it was scary. Eric Rubin describes the moment that he heard missiles launched from Iran rain over Tel Aviv, where he lives with his wife. We could hear um, the 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 you know, the booms that landed, the, the bombs or the ballistic missiles that struck into Israel. And those were loud. Those those were the loudest that I've heard uh, since I've lived here. Ruben lived in Owings Mills before moving to Israel in October of last year, just after the October 7th Hamas attack. It's just a place we always wanted to be. Um, and, you know, a lot of people were wondering why we were still going despite the war. And, you know, I just really believe that uh, we can't let terrorists win. Ruben says he heard the warnings of an imminent missile strike. And when the sirens went off, Ruben, his wife, and their neighbors went to an underground garage in their building. It was scarier than usual. I mean, we could tell from the booms in the air. Now, remember, we're three levels underground in a lot of thick concrete, and we're still able to hear the explosions. He says he tried to stay calm. You know, there were there were people uh, crying. There were people, you know, screaming that were 